Baruch Shani to Baruch 54. And I besought El Elohim and said, You alone, O Adonai, know of a foretime the deep things of the world and the things which befall in their times you bring about by your word and against the works of the inhabitants of the earth. You hasten the beginnings of the times and the end of the seasons. You alone know. You for whom nothing is too hard, but who does everything easily by a nod. You to whom the depths come as the heights and whose word the beginnings of the ages serve. You who reveal to those who fear you what is prepared for them, that thenceforth they may be comforted. You show great acts to those who know not. You break up the enclosure of those who are ignorant and light up what is dark and reveal what is hidden to the pure who in belief have submitted themselves to you and to your Torah. You have shown to your servant this vision. Reveal to me also its interpretation. For I know that as regards those things wherein I besought you, I have received a response. And as regards what I besought you, did reveal to me with what voice I should praise you, and from what members I should cause praises, and hallelujahs to ascend to you. For if my members were mouths, and the hairs of my head voices, even so I could not give you the meat of praise, nor laud you as if befitting, nor could I recount your praise nor tell the glory of your beauty. For what am I amongst men? Or why am I reckoned amongst those who are more excellent than I, that I have heard all these marvelous things from El Elian, and numberless promises from him who created me? Blessed be my mother among those that bear, and praised among women, be she that bore me. For I will not be silent in praising El Elohim, and with the voice of praise I will recount his marvelous deeds. For who does like unto your marvelous deeds, O Elohim? Or who comprehends your deep thought of life? For with your counsels you do govern all the creatures which your right hand has created and you have established every fountain of light beside you. And the treasures of wisdom beneath your throne have you prepared. And justly do they perish who have not loved your Torah. And the torment of judgment shall await those who have not submitted themselves to your power. For though Adam first sinned, and brought untimely death upon all. Yet of those who were born from him, each one of them has prepared for his own soul torment to come. And again, each one of them has chosen for himself glories to come. For assuredly, he who believes will receive reward. But now, as for you, ye wicked that now are, turn ye to destruction, because ye shall speedily be visited, in that formerly ye rejected the understanding of El Elian. For his works have not taught you, nor has the skill of his creation, which is at all times, persuaded you. Adam is therefore not the cause, save only of his own soul, but each of us has been the Adam of his own soul. But you, O Yahuwah, do expound to me regarding those things which you have revealed to me, and 
inform me regarding that which I besought you. For at the consummation of the world, vengeance shall be taken upon those who have done wickedness according to their wickedness. And you will glorify the faithful according to their faithfulness. For those who are amongst your own, you rule. And those who sin, you blot out from amongst your own.